Here I will show you how to stain wood. This overall project here is turning this chair into that chair. I will show you the whole process on the channel, but for today, I'm just gonna show you how to stain wood. Now this will work for any wood. I've done this on a matching table. Now it's time to set up the chairs to match that table. I bought these chairs and table from Ikea. It comes just like this, this unfinished wood. First things first, let's get the wood prepped and ready for the stain. For today's project, we have our pre-stain, aka wood conditioner. We have our gel stain. Today's choice is dark walnut. And then we have our polyurethane slash sealer that we will use to finish everything up. We've got a brush here to apply everything, a paper towel to clean up and apply the stain. I'll show you that. And then some sandpaper if we need to smooth stuff out. First, let's go ahead and get started with conditioning our wood. So our first and very important step is to condition the wood with pre-stain to get it ready for the stain. So what this actually does is it allows for an even coat. So basically you are prepping the wood, getting it wet. Uh, without this, what you could end up having are blotchy spots where the stain doesn't soak in evenly. So it's not complicated. You're simply just painting this on and applying it to any part of the wood that you will be staining. So I'm just doing the top here and I'm just doing a light coat. It doesn't have to be super thick on there, just a light coat brushing it on the part of the wood that you'll be staining. So here today I'm doing the top of the chair, or excuse me, the top of the seat and then around the sides. So that's it. I'm just going to apply that evenly across the top there. And then what we will do is we will allow this to soak in for about 15 minutes. Then we'll come back and apply the stain. After 10 or 15 minutes, I just go through and I wipe just to clean up any excess that may be standing still on the wood. Now it's time to go ahead and apply the wood stain. Again, this is a gel. Dark walnut is the color that we are using today. So again, this will work for any wood project that you are trying to do as long as it's unfinished wood. So I'm just going to start at the edge and pull it in. And then I'll start at the other edge and then again, pull it in. Just want to get the brush up under it and I want to get a little bit underneath the lip there. So it's nothing fancy here, just painting the edges. Making sure to kind of pull the brush underneath a little bit just so that I'm sure to get the entire side and a little bit underneath as well just because when you get to the side of the chair if you're looking at it from the side you want to make sure that there's no unstained spots all right and then i will get the back of the chair as well just a little bit there perfect all righty now now before that stain has time to dry i want to make sure that i get my paper towel here and wipe it off <clears throat> so if you wanted to wear gloves, you could do that. I will show you how to properly wash your hands afterwards. So now, just using the paper towel, we're just going to go back and forth and wipe the excess stain off. my last paper towel here for good measure just to blend everything in now around the edges here i just want to make sure that i wipe off here again going with the grain of the wood so i don't leave any streaks and i'll come around the sides here just to make sure that i've got any excess so there's nothing pooling So there we go, the stain is on. Now we need 24 hours for that to cure. Then we will add our polyurethane and sealer on that. 
Now the stain I used was an oil-based stain. I made a video of how to remove that if you wanna check that out. The short version is any oil that you have around the house, olive oil, canola oil, coconut oil, mix that, rub it on your hands with a little bit of soap and water and that oil-based stain will come right off of your hand. You can do that same thing for the brush or you can utilize mineral spirits for cleaning up the brush. Anyways, 24 hours, we'll come back and finish up. This is dried for 24 hours. Now it's time to go ahead and put on our polyurethane or sealer. And we'll do a couple coats of this. Let's get started with the first coat here. So, again, kind of like the stain there, we're just pulling it in and going with the grain of the wood. It goes on white and creamy, but it does dry clear. So you won't see it when it dries, it dries clear. And then again, to finish up, I just go over it one last time here, going with the grain of the wood, making sure that those no bubbles or any puddles, anything pooling, drips, or streaks like that. Just make sure it's a nice, thin, even coat. Perfect. Now, I'm going to let that dry for an hour or two, and then I will come back we will check for any bumps that we might need to sand out, and then we'll put on some additional coats. It's all dry. I'm just checking to see how it feels. If it feels kind of rough, if there's any bumps or bubbles, it's a little rough up here, so I'm just gonna hit it quickly with some sandpaper. I've got 220 sandpaper here and just a block. And I'm just going to lightly sand it. I'm barely going to press down. I'm really just going to kind of let my hand weigh on it and just barely go for it. So that's probably going to be good enough. Again, going with the grain, the wood grain. And yeah, that cleared up my spots there. So it's nice and smooth again. It just had a few bubbles there, a few rough spots. Now that's all smoothed out again. So I'll get my brush back out of the bag and then I will do the second coat of stain here. And then just with a dry paper towel or cloth or something, you can just wipe it again, make sure you got all that dust off of there from the sanding. Same as before, just a light coat over the seats and then around the edges. So there you go. That is how you stain and seal wood. Now it does really work for any unfinished wood. It's the same process. You get it with the wood conditioner, then you hit it with the wood stain of your choice, and then you finish it and seal it with that polyurethane. So as you can see, this is the direction we are headed. I do have a video of how to paint it white, just the legs in the back here. I used my Wagner paint sprayer for that part of the project. I do have a total tutorial on how to use this machine start to finish. I love the Wagner paint sprayer. It's a very affordable entry level paint sprayer for the weekend DIYer like myself, and it does give really great results and it's very cheap and affordable if you're just getting started it cuts your time in half. So highly recommend it if you wanna check that video out. And I've also got a table to match, that farm style table with the nice wood finish here and then the white legs. It's just a really cool classic look and it really brightens up the space anywhere, no matter where you are.
it's a great look. So I love it. My wife loves it. If you like DIY around the house stuff, I've got more coming. So you'll see all of these projects come together. Please feel free to like and subscribe. My name is Drew. I'll see you in the next one. Very nice finish. Love it.